What's going on guys and welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. Today's a little bit of a special video. First, we're gonna talk about the fact that as many of you know, I, over the last several years, have been getting dogs, getting ready. At this point, I've had two litters of puppies and they've all stayed pretty much local here. I wanted to make sure that Bailey and Caesar had great puppies with great temperaments. And I also have a litter with another dog as well. We're gonna take a few minutes and showcase Bailey and Caesar's litter. Uh, there, like I said, there's also another litter of F1B puppies, which means they are 75% poodle. If any of you are interested in that, you can go to the website, which is at the end of this clip that we're gonna show you. It's your chance to get uh, puppies. If you are wanting a golden doodle, it's your chance to get puppies from our farm here in central Illinois. Uh, you can have a farmer on the prairie dog. Um, then after we show you that, I'm gonna jump in my truck and go buy my own personal first piece of farm equipment, which is a big step for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So today, Bailey's puppies have turned four weeks old. Uh, these are F1 Golden Doodles, so they're half gold English Cream Golden Retriever and half Apricot Standard Poodle. Um, so they're getting to the age where they're walking around a lot and they're really friendly. And today they're gonna come outside and explore for the first time. So this is Bella, and she is super friendly. She's always the first one to running in when we come in the dog house, and she's the first one to, you know, wanting fed, and she loves to be petted, and she wags her tail really cute when you do. So there's nothing wrong with other puppies why they're barking. Puppies just like to bark. So this litter, they seem to be really social and outgoing. I wonder if it's because of all the activity in the doghouse or something. But yeah, they're, they play really well and it's fun to watch them um, adventure outside. <laughs> Duchess is not sure about this at all. So this is Baja. She seems to be a little bit darker. She has darker ears and a little bit darker on the sides of her nose. Hi. This big boy, his name is Brutus. Um, and he lives up to his name. He's very big, as you can see. Hmm? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> this is Barkley. He's pretty light and he's a little bit smaller than Brutus. He's just a really pretty dog. So this is Basil. And this is Beatrix. She's a little bit darker as well. This is Beauty. And this is Blondie. So this is their mom, is Bailey. She is an English cream golden retriever. Today, I am doing something very special. I am making my first equipment purchase on my own, 100% my piece of farm equipment. 
Uh, it's in Alexandria, Illinois, so we got a two and a half hour drive. I'm gonna jump in my truck and I'll explain more to you on the way. Okay, so we are going down to Alexandria, Illinois to a dealership called J.O. Harris. Uh, they sell quite a few Yetta rotary hoes and we are picking up a rotary hoe as part of our organic journey, another piece of equipment that we need for that. Um, they have a year old used one. It looks pretty good in pictures. I'm gonna go down, check it out, make sure everything's good. And if it is, uh, we'll come home with it today. If not, might buy a new one, we'll see. But um, we're on our way down there. This is my first piece of equipment. I do not farm yet, but I'm going to rent it to dad. Uh, basically, it's just an investment for the future. And then eventually when I'm farming, it'll be mine. If it wears out by that point, I will trade it and I'll I'm gonna make sure my rental fee's high enough that I'll be able to cover trading it. So anyhow, we're gonna get down there and about two hours. So we're about uh, 40 minutes away from there and we'll hopefully be getting there shortly. So I'm actually almost home. I totally forgot to film looking at it, loading it, anything like that. But here she is. Chains are still tight, which is a good thing. So it's a one-year-old Yetter rotary hoe, but it is on a Mateer bar because like everything else right now, it is extremely hard to get the OE equipment. So you can get the Yetter parts, but you can't get the Yetter bar. So uh, J.O. Harris, which is the dealership, is actually buying all the Yetter parts and sending them to Mateer to get a rotary hoe built. So there she is, and hopefully, It'll do what we need it to do. It does have a little bit of wear, but it was about, let me think here, about $5,000 less than a new one is, um, than a new Mateer is. So it, it was, you know, a decent price, but it's also a decent looking bar. And, uh, you know, it costs seven grand to replace all the wheels on a rotary hoe, but, it's five grand less than the, the wheels obviously do not need replaced yet, so we'll still get several more years out of them. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Okay, so here it is. It's a 30 foot sort of Yetter rotary hoe. It's a Yetter, all the Yetter components on a Mateer toolbar. So hopefully, We'll get some good use. I know it needs a few new wheels. Um, needs a few new wheels. And other than that, we need to move a couple things around. But it should do what we need it to do pretty well. So anyhow, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry I didn't get us unloading it, but it was in the dark. And uh, check out the Kubota. It has some pretty window tint on it. Looks kind of cool. It uh, really helps keep us cool in that tractor because this tractor does not have the best AC. It's got a whole lot of get glass and it has a hard time keeping cool, but the window tint makes a world of difference. It helps keep it cool much better. So that's the newest thing on the farm. My first piece of farm equipment. And I'm going to rent it out to dad next spring or well, as long as we have it, I'm going to rent it to dad um, for a certain amount per acre and we'll go from there. I'm filling my truck up with fuel because it was almost out. Um, I got terrible mileage on the way home. I got like seven, eight miles a gallon. That thing stuck up a ways and caught a lot of wind and it was taking a lot of power. Uh, and when it takes a lot of power, it takes a lot of fuel. So we're getting filled up and I'm going to head out for work this morning.